Hey everybody! So I wanted to go over something that's a, a really useful organization uh, method that we can use now as we start to um, have multiple exercises that we're going to try to review in each class. Um, we have a big class and if you guys are doing like this week three separate animation assignments and they come in as three separate Maya files and there are 20 of you, uh, that means we're opening and closing 60 Maya files and trying to get you guys feedback on your animation and it can slow things down. This is a way that we can um, have a single file for each and just buy back a little bit of time and hopefully get you a little bit more time for feedback. So let's just say I had three animations, um, something like that. And these were your three separate um, scenes that you were going to build or you were going to build them one by one. Um, one of the simplest ways that we can do that is we could start in an empty scene and let's say you were going to be bouncing a ball or swinging a pendulum or something like that. We can take the object that you're going to be working on first, okay, and over here in the channel box at the bottom we have display layers, okay. So what we can do is we can actually, uh, we have different icons here and you can move them up and down because you can have multiple display layers, um, but the icon here at the end uh, gives you the option to create a new layer with the assigned or selected object. So what I can do is I can actually create a layer here with this. So I can, don't need to, but I could name it something like um, Helix, okay, it already exists, so we'll just call it Helix 1, and there you go. Um, and when we're reviewing the, and then animate it the way you'd normally do, and you'd be fine, um, and then what, when we didn't want to be looking at it, or you wanted to start your next animation scene, what you could do is just turn that off, and it's not going to be there, and let's say over here we had another object, and we could just create it selected as such, but you can also uh, create an empty layer, select the object, right click on that layer, and you can do an add selected object. Okay, and then in here what we'll do is this, and we'll just call this, let's say assignment 2, or whatever you want it. Okay, so we can animate this, or even, you know, add, uh, do the animation first, and then assign them to the layers, whichever you want, but again, we can turn that off, and then we can set up or import our new geometry. Let's say this was going to be a bouncing ball or a spinning thing or that was going to occur over here. And we could then, once again, you know, just have this object create another layer, um, name it, you know, assignment you know, three, or, and you could do something like that if you wanted to, just call it box or however it makes sense. Generally, if these things are named in a way so that it um, makes sense, that could be pretty useful. So we could just pyramid. Okay, let's so name that pyramid, and there you go. Um, and we turn that off. And so for reviewing the animation then, what we can do is we can literally turn these on, watch its animation, get your feedback, turn this on, watch animation, get feedback, and then watch the last one and get you feedback. Okay, so that's the first way you can do things, and that's actually a pretty handy way to do it. You have things on um, layers here, and you animate them out. Okay, so that's the first way. So let's just say we're going to go to a new scene now, don't save, and hit the button. Alternate way to do it. Let's say you have animated your um, objects, and in this case, let's say open scene. Let's say I got box animation, and I bring this up, and he's here and we animate that, and we've animated our scene uh, separately, okay? So we're at the point now where we're animating these things and you have each one of these animations separate, okay? We can still, after you've animated all these separately, bring them together in a single file, okay? Which is another all, uh, option, and you can at that point even then use display layers if you wanted to. But I'm gonna show you another technique that we can use. And what it is is it's called scene referencing. Okay, so if you go into the file menu, right over here, we have Create Reference and the Reference Editor. You could go right to Create Reference, but I'm just going to open the Reference Editor for a second so we can take a peek at this. And this is actually a great way to work in Maya, particularly as your scenes and your animations start to become a little bit more involved. Um, what this is, allows us to do is we can start with an empty Maya scene or an empty Maya project, okay? And um, you could import or reference other Maya scenes to it. For example, over here, this is a regular box, it shouldn't be particularly complicated to do it. 
Um, we can go to the file, we can create a reference this way, okay? Um, or you could just hit the little plus sign over here to create a reference. And in my case, the first reference I'm going to do is I, I broke out those three animations into three separate Maya files, very much the way you might have done it or do your homework. First one's going to be box. So I'm going to grab box, and over here, here is my box file, okay? So I bring it in, and now I haven't opened the box file. What I've done is I've imported a reference to it, so it's referenced into the scene. It's not actually in the scene yet, okay? I can make changes to this one in this scene, and the original Maya file won't be messed up or changed or anything like that. So it's nice in a way because I can bring this in here. Um, I can duplicate this reference. I can do all sorts of neat stuff with it. I'm not going to get complicated with all of it, but uh, for instance, this third button over here gives me the ability to if I select the reference, to duplicate the reference. So I can actually move this over here, move that there, and now I have two of them, okay? They're not instances of the, each other per se, they're instances of their reference. So within the confines of the scene, let's say, I could assign a new material to this one, okay? And it's not still affecting the original reference, so that's a plus, okay? So we have the ability to do that which is uh, nice. And if we don't want to see them anymore, we can actually turn off references. So if I'm in here and I have a reference, let's say this one, um, I can just turn it off so we don't see it. Um, I could also delete the reference so it's not even there anymore. So I can remove this reference and it's not there, okay? So let's bring in the other two animation homework files. I'm gonna bring in the Helix animation, which is here, okay? And I can um, move this around if I want. I can Put it over there. Um, I can also then bring in the pyramid animation. Bring that in, and there it is. Okay, so let's just grab the uh, pyramid for a second. I'm gonna hold down Control, grab this, and put that right over there. Okay, so again now um, I have the ability to look at these all at the same time. We could use the display layers for them. But I do have the reference editor. So if we do this as a reference file, um, what I have the ability to do, very much like the display layers, is turn them on and off one by one. So if we were going to give you feedback on this, I could look at this. And once we were done looking at that, we could click this, and you could use this as well then. Or you could look at all three at the same time, or make duplicate versions of them, and you're in business. So that's an alternate way that you can do it as well. Now there's more about referencing, I don't want to get too deep into it, but the one thing I want to show you uh, really quickly though is I'm going to split this and go down here and I'm going to select this and then just tap F, okay? The one thing you can't do with a referenced file is change its animation. You'll notice that the um, animation curve here is dotted, okay? It's a referenced animation curve, okay? So I don't have the ability to edit this animation. One thing we can do is actually import these objects into the scene so that they're not referenced anymore and they actually now belong to the scene. So for instance the box, I can select that reference, I can go up to reference, and I can actually, under file, my mistake, we can actually import the objects from reference. So if I import this file now, you'll notice that now we actually have a curve that we can actually affect, and this object is here, okay? We could do the same. I could basically grab these two remaining references, go to File, and actually import the objects. So you'll notice now there are no more references left, and each one of these objects is actually part of this scene. So then at that stage, I can take this file, Save Scene, and say um, three anims, like that, and then I could bring that into school. And if at that point you um, we need to separate them, we could once again just create a display layer for each one of these and name it. Okie dokie. So then we have the ability to turn them on and off. So that's just a really quick look at um, the use of display layers, uh, which is probably the simplest now because if you're scratching your head at uh, Referencing, don't worry about it, we'll go into it again. Uh, but both will work, and they both give us the opportunity for you to bring in a single Maya file with three separate assignments in it.
Alrighty, hope that helped. Take care, guys.